Hello there, my name is Lucky Moyo, a playground artist, and I would like to share with you a gentle, playful, and magical world that is playground. I think it's the best thing that we've done, to be honest. It was more for her than some of the other things we've done. Um, she just engaged better and, yeah, really enjoyed it. The project builds on a successful pilot which took place in Kent's libraries in 2019. And this phase has been funded by Artwork and Kent County Council's ReConnect program, which recognises that our youngest have been the most affected by lockdown. What's really special about Playground is that these babies have been born during this time, so they haven't had any of that opportunity. Um, and to have this new, exciting project that really engages these young minds and is going to have such an impact upon their lives and how they engage with creative activity in their lifetimes and with their families is, is really, really special. So we are really lucky to be delivering this programme through investment from KCC's Reconnect programme, which is all about allowing them to not only reconnect with um, experiences pre-pandemic, but also to have new experiences. Playground takes place in libraries and children's centres across Kent, aiming to ensure access to the highest quality of creative activity for very young children, aged 0 to 24 months. So for me, it's a really, really interesting age range and the, the responses that you can get from very young children, I think, are just not understood and appreciated. It's always something that special connection you will have with a baby. That, it caught me by surprise, actually, at the beginning of how much they're there, how much they're ready, how much they're looking at you. These sessions are experimental. Can we use artistic play? to support a baby's natural early development, to help them express themselves, explore their environment, play together, and encourage their parents or carer to join in with a shared experience too, and continue creative play at home. So we've created sessions that have materials and objects and sounds and movement. They're sort of multi-layers within a session. It's all about the babies as well, isn't yeah. it? Because we've been to loads of groups where it's a bit more about the mums meeting each other and things like that, I think, mm. which is fine, but you know, I'll probably be the only dad there at most of them, so because it's more focused on the baby, I don't feel as left out. There are more libraries than there are theatres and uh, galleries, so it means that through libraries we can get to so many more people in so many different areas. It's on their doorstep. An inspiring international group of mentors support our playground artists and library staff to develop their confidence and skills in working with the very young. This includes Anna Newell, an early years theatre maker from Ireland, Siri Dibik and Nils Christian Postal from Dibik Dance and University of Stavanger, and Star Catchers a Scotland-based arts organisation whose work has inspired the Playground project. When we're, what we're trying to do with the, this kind of work is offer a shared experience between the parent and the baby. And so I think introducing themes and ideas as starting points that can go off on a journey with the creative play that takes place in those sessions is really important. Because if they see their carer being silly and having fun, that's going to that's going to transfer to home life, that's going to transfer to the sessions. We're responsive, as are the parents responsive, to how the babies are reacting to what's been put in front of them. So the most we do is that offer of these are the objects we're giving you today, what are you going to do with it? If you're able to plan your artistic experience in a way that engages as many senses in, as possible, then you've got a greater chance of hooking into what is particularly interesting for that baby at that time. They provoke back to you and then you provoke to them and it's just this constant reaction thing and it's magical, yeah. The babies themselves seem to definitely take the lead. The babies are really fully engaged. I've had lots of parents say that they starting to take the ideas from playgrounds and use them at home, which is 
obviously brilliant, it's what we want them to do. It can get quite challenging to think of new ideas to, to keep her entertained. So that was one of the things I thought when we were playing is that these were all like arts and crafts materials basically and with a bit of imagination. I think we'll definitely make a shaker, won't we? <laughs> and I think it's because we're used to feeling as though we have to stimulate babies, we have to offer them things all the time. And I think it's completely reversed that in the minds of the parents. She's completely engaged for that time. She's completely mesmerised is probably the best way I can describe it. It was really important to us that we had artists with very different specialisms working across the programme and they all bring something very different to Playground and they, along with the babies, make it what it is. The idea of Playground being artist-led, I worried about it feeling too exclusive or, you know, oh my, I don't want to get involved in all of that, you know. But the spirit in which the artistry is being offered is so inclusive and open. I mean, the babies are brilliant because they come in with no expectations. I don't know how I would describe this, to be honest, because it is really different. When I came with my mum last week, she said afterwards, like, it, I must, but she said it must be research based because they, like, they seemed like they knew exactly what they were doing. Our team of playground artists has included fantastic students from the Theatre for Young Audiences Centre at Rose Bruford College. All five joined the autumn phase of the project as seasonal artists, attending the training and artistic development days, and then delivering sessions alongside the professional team. In addition to artist evaluation, Katie has been tasked with evaluating the entire project, looking at the impact on babies, on the library service, and on the artists. Within the artists themselves, there's a definite change from the beginning of the, the programme. They are starting to find ways to collaborate with each other. So rather than pigeonholing themselves as a, um, a visual artist or um, a poet or a singer, they are starting to think of themselves as kind of multifaceted. It's made me a lot better at improvising. You know, making a new experience every time is like really important for artists. Yeah, I've learned quite a lot and it has helped me in, as an artist in my future projects. Yeah. So when I started it, my first initial class was just me like watching and taking in what the artists were actually doing. And then going forward, now it's just like imitating what I see. And I feel like it's made me very confident in playing with children as well. To just know that, oh, they would copy because they actually mirror everything you do. I didn't know that working with babies would be as eye-opening as it has been. Certainly a lot of the feedback we've had is that being able to come to the library with their very small child has actually made the library much more uh, an option for them. I'm very lucky that we live in Sturry and we do have a library still and it's good to support your local libraries. Plus it's also nice that they are doing other things as well to bring younger kids down and hopefully you'll get to learn about books and love books and read books. To be honest, I hadn't been to the libraries for years. I think before we had Amelie, we, well, either of us would, if we had something to do, we wouldn't go to the library. But. Mm. We've definitely come a lot more since she's been born. It's really important that we are able to cater for all ages and, and just offer maybe something something different. We try to encourage young, young children or children to take part in our artistic activities across the country, but I've never envisaged it actually going down from naught to two, and uh, so it's really exciting for me to see this happening. It's innovative and it's exciting to be part of that in Kent, um, in Kent Libraries, where Playground has become a real core um, element of our offering to our customers. In terms of my development, it's given me both a deeper understanding of my practice in relation to babies and adults and community, but it's also helped think about how we support artists to grow in that way, to grow alongside the communities that they're working in. 
For me, I think libraries have the potential to really become the creative and cultural hub in a community. Yeah, it's meaningful. What happens around this mat is meaningful. You're sharing really intimate moments, you know, where the most vulnerable elements of our community are just really <laughs> gently hanging out with us. It's a really privileged place. I'm definitely coming back, but I think I'm going to sacrifice myself and let my husband come to one because he would think this is amazing and it's kind of nice that he could come and then I could come to a different one and yeah, I'll definitely be coming back.